So I do Riverfly Lava Monitoring for the Riverfly Trust partnership um, because by looking at numbers of riverfly lava in the water, in the stream, you can tell um, pollution levels. They're a great indicator of clean water. So if we monitor the numbers every month, then we can see if there's been pollution breaches. Um, it's great to see all the little species, um, but also you get access to places like this. Great. Nobody here. Well, the kids are here somewhere. Not sure where. Dogs are here somewhere. Don't know where. But this beautiful mayfly. You can see its gills moving. And there he gets a little bit cross there. Absolutely beautiful. And here are the all the cases of those that have already hatched into mayfly. So this is the little flat bodied mayfly. This is three prongs at the bottom and uh, they cling on to stones. You can often see them if you pick up a stone in a river. And so these this ones. is the other really cool one. This is the cased caddis fly larva and they actually build their own little homes out of little stones and sediment um, and wherever they are they build different homes uh, and you can just see them crawling around there they look like little twigs look, if I pick it up it just looks like a little twig uh, but actually it's a little case caddis fly